Have you ever seen a roller coaster? Why don't the people fall out when it's at the top of the loop? It's all about forces, centripetal force to be exact. Hello explorers, educator Marissa here at Exploration Place. Now we can do a little experiment to see how centripetal force really works. All you're gonna need is a pen, a cup, a Lego person, and a piece of string. Let's put this together and see if we can test centripetal force. The first step is going to be using our pen to make two holes in the top of our cup. You want these to be as close to across from each other as possible, but it doesn't have to be perfect. The second step is going to be feeding our string through these holes. Now this is a little tricky because you've got to get it all the way across and you don't want to separate your string or make your holes too big. And if you don't quite get it the first time, it's okay. Just get that string fed all the way through. All right, now that we've got our string threaded through, we're gonna tie a little knot at the top to make a loop, and this is making our centripetal force container. So let's get a nice knot tied in there. The next thing we need to do is put our Lego guy in. So if this was our roller coaster car, he is our person who has been waiting in line. So we're gonna put him in there. Now, you're about to see something really cool. I wanna to prove to you he's not attached. See, no movement. He just falls right out. But if we put him in and hold it by the loop and spin it in a circle, he'll stay in because the centripetal force is holding him in that circle loop. If you're trying this at home, grab your knot, find an open space and spin it in a circle. No Lego guy. He's staying in the cup. Now he'll still fall out when there's no motion and he'll still jiggle all around in there but centripetal force holds them in place. So just like on our roller coaster, when you're in that upside down loop, the centripetal force holding you in that circle is stronger than any other force acting on you at that time, like gravity or friction. So that's how roller coasters stay on their track. Thanks for exploring with me today. Hope to see you next time.